Welcome to another video everyone. We've got a ton of accessories that we got from Best EV Mod for the Tesla Cybertruck. One of the accessories that we got from the Foundation Series that's an OEM accessory that really hasn't been holding up pretty well. Maybe it's my fault, but one of these accessories I'm pretty excited to go ahead and install. So let's jump into this video and show you exactly what Best EV Mod sent us. And of course, I'll paste all the links down below in the description so you can check them out and purchase for yourself. But of course, shout out to the team at Best EV Mod and let's get into it. Quick update on the Cybertruck. You probably have seen, oh, look at this, so bad, right on the unplugged fenders right there, the carbon fiber fenders. It's now purple in case you missed it. It is a different color. I'm I'm a 50-50 on this color. I love how it's purple, but also I like how it's black, but maybe we should change it up in the next three months, give or take. Let us know, comment down below which color you think we should go with next. So there is four accessories here, all from Best EV Mod. One of them, which the last one is the one I'm most excited for, and I'll show you why. But I already did a couple of the unboxing. These first two ones are the nets for the front and the back. I was taking a look at this and I can't figure out where this would actually attach in the front of the Cybertruck, the front, but this one could make sense because it's got a lot of hooks and everything. So this one should be pretty easy. Let's unbox this and show you how it installs in the back. This should be a fairly simple install. And actually I wanted to show you a couple things back here because not much has really changed, but we did actually get a cargo divider. Shout out to Chris for selling us this cargo divider. It's been great. I love how it completes the look, but unfortunately with this mat that a lot of different companies now have come out with, including Best EV Mod, it is not compatible with it because you can see how close it actually gets. So unless I cut this, which I probably will, or figure out some sort of solution, I'll probably cut it and then split it into two different mats because you kind of have to, but once you cut it, you can't move the divider in any sort of other direction. So maybe some of the people that are doing X-Line and things like that with the bed, maybe you can't use this divider either. So pretty interesting and unfortunately a issue with both of these products and you cannot combine them both. But here is the mat. And so taking a look at this, it looks like it kind of only covers like those front two areas because there's two hooks all the way in the front, two, four hooks in the middle middle and then two more hooks back here. So if we open this, we will see that it comes with, so it looks like it's like the center mat. It's got, it's got like a nice pocket actually or something. So you can put stuff on the bottom and the top. And then it also comes with a bunch of hooks. So it makes me wonder, should I put it, I guess I should put it like right here like this so that I can put stuff under and keep it still so it doesn't move around when we're driving around. So let's go ahead and install it. So here's the four hooks that it comes with. Pretty simple. So I think I'm gonna attach it here, there, there, and here so that it ties stuff down. Funny, I have not used any of these at all. So there we go, so it does come off. So I just noticed that I messed up installing this, of course. I've heard some feedback that the cargo divider, you have to be careful with the latch. So this back D latch is super pesky. I guess I've never used it ever. So I just got a flathead screwdriver to pry it up because it's like, wow, it's like super tight. Actually, I can't even, lift it. I literally have to use a screwdriver to get it up. That is funky. So go ahead and so now we're going to attach these last two hooks or try to. So it looks like you can only attach it to the super tight. All right, so there it is. You can see we've got a cargo net now. Keep stuff tied down when we're driving around wherever we're going. And I kind of like how it lays flat. So if I don't want to keep stuff down, I can just put stuff on top of it. These two hooks up here were a little bit tight. Rings barely fit around it. And I kind of don't like how they're lifted up like that. So I can put them down to make sure they're a little bit more flush. You can see how they're installed back here and here. So let me put something under here to see how tight it is for storage. We've been playing a lot of pickleball recently and so I've been keeping my gear on us at all times, but I don't like how it's been loose back here. So I do like this now. I can put it under here and it will keep it more tight depending on where we're driving. So look at that. 
perfect fit and perfect for what we were looking for and keeping our stuff secure when we're driving around so it's not sloshing around all over in the back. So moving to the front now, it's not really apparent where you should install these hooks for the front, but actually is this for the back again? So I guess this is for the back again because there's more L hooks in the center area if you wanted to mount another mesh back there. So maybe I'll just keep this on the side because I don't think I need two of them. Yeah, because looking at the middle area, there's another hook over there or another D hook and then another hook at the bottom. So this could be for if you wanna strap more stuff down in the back. So Best EV Mod sent me two more accessories. I'm gonna show you this next one and the last one I'm definitely most excited for because the OEM one is not holding up at all. This next one is a pretty simple one. It, all it is is a front area mesh for the front trunk so it's I mean we don't keep too much stuff in here but I do like having the extra protection because that's kind of my one gripe with the Cybertruck or one of my gripes with the Cybertruck is that the plastics are not very strong and they get beat up very 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 easily so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in so you can see what this looks like and you can see very simple install it just adds more protection if you're gonna throw stuff into the front like tools or something like that this last accessory is definitely a must it looks very small but the accessory that this is replacing the one that came from Tesla has not been really holding up let me show you why and that accessory is the center console organizer and the OEM one has just not been holding up at all maybe I just put too much stuff in here that is just pushing it down for whatever reason but you can kind of see how it's like starting to bend in the back and even if I try and recenter it it just always pushes down even more maybe one time I put way too much stuff in here and I guess bent maybe some of the edges on it but unfortunately it is not holding up at all so I'm pretty excited to get this new one from best EV mod which hopefully will be a harder plastic and will not bend or be flimsy at all like this one so let's do a quick unboxing you can see just right off the bat, this feels way, way, way more stronger and it's not gonna bend like the last one. Of course, we got some dog hair on it because I already kind of unboxed it a little bit. And I do like how there's rubber mats all along the inside as well. So there's really not gonna have any sort of issues with your change flopping around or anything. And what's really cool is there's like a little coin holder or something if you wanna keep something extra secure and or safe. So let's go ahead and move all our stuff into this one and see how much better this one is. All right, so first test fit into here. Oh, that is much better. You can see it does not give any room at all to flex. It just stays solid just like this all around the sides. So now I can just throw all my stuff in there and not have to worry at all with it pushing down. So let's try and close it. Look at that absolutely perfect nothing's gonna jingle around because it's got these mats and you're not gonna hear anything fly around at all so i'm gonna throw all my stuff in here and then i don't know what i'm gonna do with this one maybe i uh throw it away or something actually the one thing i know i can do with this is i'm gonna put it down there in the meantime before i get an organizer down there because this won't clink around or slide around as much but Actually, that's a really cool detail. I didn't even notice that there is a Cybertruck logo on the back of it. But yeah, that's about it. Shout out to the team at Best EV Mod for sending us these three accessories. Definitely worth it, especially that last one. I am definitely excited to be using this one instead of the OEM one. But thanks for watching. Please hit that like if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.